are if you do lock in something like that Graves, but I, I look at this in Astralis and this is against a very good comp dealing with that heavy dive. Yeah, it really, really is. And now with the Graves locked in, both teams... Huge shield coming out. You're going to be oh, falling White behind. Knight. Speaking about early advantages, Vitality looking topside for this. Yeah, well, White Knight recognizes now he's probably been a little bit too far forward. He's just going to try and deny the assist and actually pushes himself a little far forward. The minions in the turret will do enough. Well, Does this was a team that was constructed out of the best parts that Europe has access to. Now to stop myself okay. now, as we can see, the Karzi in a lot of trouble is going to get knocked up. Is going to get stunned over the side, but Zanzara follows him over. Herald time, look out for the next couple of waves. See what's happening with these supports pushing out and roaming. Uh, Labrov working his way up the right side of that point because they've committed so many members towards that bot side. Uh, Zanzara now going to spotted out on Vision. He's going to get rid of those traps. I mean, he's going to have to try and go for something here because he knows he's very much caught between a rock and a hard place. Double knock up with the Desolate Dive. And that's going to be a trade of kill. The Jinx does fall. Promise Q gets himself over the wall. Labrov can't actually get the Tongue Stun. Lash just there. He did. That's going to be the crescendo to try and keep them away. They're grabbing them as well. They're doing nicely. They eventually get Perks' flash out of them and ends up so being a two. Going to take themselves some plates instead. In trade for a splitting of the early dragons. It's going to be that mountain rift. Lane it's tier right. one for the bot lane tier one. So Astralis still getting a decent trade out of it despite losing their top laner as Rifty has been started <laughs> summoned up to the top side. I was about to say, you know, you, you Herald 2, maybe secure a first tier. Get yourself a bit. Few more plates on at the table. Open up a crockery store for yourself. But it's the first tower over to the Athalos, who has a thousand gold lead at this point. There might be a second charge in topside, but look at these weapons. Chakram's galore. Can't be going to shred this turret. Yeah, and with the added Demacian standard, means he gets a little bit of extra attack speed. And they should be able to take themselves a tier two. So the advantage you get with taking away the Rift Herald is basically they just know exactly where Dayor and Promise Q is. This could be a massive shadow surge. We're going to have a full 5v5. Uh, Here we go. Three man knock up onto the backside. It's a fight on two fronts. It's a 3v2 and a 3v2. Come get self made and this is Astralis just playing keep away right now they have still yet to commit Dayor as they trade back the jungler so, for the again looking towards this posturing looking to see he's gonna be pulling the swinging the hangable hammer blow they're gonna try and go on top of the Tam Kench because they know he's the safety for the Jinx they get Zanzara taken down they can't get the shadow surge onto the back side it's gonna be a double knock on Kobe has to go off but he's just not got the damage vitality get themselves a full clean ace the start of a pick the start of something but it wasn't of course Kazi caught up the devourer wasn't say used to save the Jinx he used to save the jungler things went from bad to worse from there I mean this is just such a I get it. You want to get rid of the Tam Kench, but look at what you've just given up. Two turrets in mid, a tier two in top, a dragon. This is now out of left field. One and starts again, actually, with Kazi doing really well at being pseudo appeal. And look how much damage Zanzara is taking before he lands that ultimate teleport. TP's going to be coming in. That's going to be Dayor, though, at Zanzara. Going to find perks. He's going to try and fully commit to this one here. But the Everfrost keeps him nice and safe. That's a very tanky rise. Alfari now on the back side here. We'll be going mega very, very soon. Zanzara, though, will not fall down just yet. The Cataclysm comes in with the Gore Trigger. He hasn't fallen now. He does. Alfari, though, left in a very precarious position. Dayor, though, has been separated from his team. And the rest of Vitality have come to save the day. Perks didn't need it in the end anyway, as Vitality find three different possibilities of what could happen. But at the end of the day, when you're on something okay. like the Vex, you got to commit just like this. Double flashes have been in on the currency, and that is a small silver lining here for Astralis. It is because HP of on the Baron. Astralis, this is to be heroes or zeros. This is for all the Mad Lions fans to try and keep them as happy as you possibly can. You can see Zanzara, they're taking a lot of damage. So he gets caught out, and they're going to be able to take him out. Yes, they do. They get the jump. But the fight can oh, now happen for Vitality. That's a massive NAR ultimate. And Perks with this machine gun rides just blows them apart. It's a flip. Even larger gold lead. And I mean, I like what you tried to do here, Astralis. You force a fight. One of those builds we see which has a higher damage output. And Astralis, they're looking seriously for that damage. Again, revisiting that point. If they are behind in this game, this combo gets so much harder to pull off, even with the great So now that last ditch effort is uh, it's just in you in a it's ditch. It's just you in a ditch. It's just you in a ditch. There is no last ditch. There's just you dead in it. But now he's separated from his team as they go and try and go for this. You can see now it's actually midlanders in a 1v1 as we got a 4v4 underneath this turret. You still got Charles, the Baron Duck Cannon Minion, pushing in work and damage and making sure that they keep that backdoor bonus but away. This is the thing, you know, Dale does collect the wave, but there is a whole breaker on the Nard that's still going to buff up that kind of minion, and that's enough to break open the base. Astralis trying to problem solve their way out, don't get themselves the higher road. Might call someone in rotation, but 
They're not even able to commit to this. I mean, it's so hard. This is why Xin Zhao is so powerful. You have to try and commit so much to kill him uh, off. Cataclysm does not quite hit. It's Mark and Zanzara. He's going off to Zanzibar on holidays, you feel. This is not going to be where he's going to be able to make his final stand. And now with Super Minions teaming into that mid lane, the buff will turn off very, very shortly, but not enough for Astralis to make a stand. Oh, it's not enough to make a stand. And they just lost the Alistair ult for, I can't imagine what reason there. Maybe trying to predict something, but either way, that's the Alistair ult down. You don't have your remaining frontliner. You don't have Snowball's chance in this base. No, and there's going to be one more. You're going to get Dayor going in, but he gets immediately exhausted. It's on to Labrov, who gets himself nicely away. The Zanyas comes out. That's a good Moonlight Vigil, but it's not good enough. Unless Kabe can randomly decide to get a Pentakill 1v5, sorry, 2v5. This game is all but done. They even get the reset off Al Alfari. Perks goes into oh. Golden Stasis. Labrov is not afraid as they jump all the way in on top of that one. Vitality at the final port of calling. Lock the last remaining spot in playoffs and they will face excel in round one that question mark 